Good afternoon, Rio Verde. Dan Cutler here with the quick agronomy update. Kind of a lot to go over since our last video. Um, since the beginning of August, we've received over 13 inches of rain here at Rio Verde. That's right, 13 inches. Uh, I'm out here on number 17 White Wing. You can see an area where a lot of debris was left that we've been left to clean up. Uh, as a lot of you know, especially if you've been golfing, that six is a uh, par three. It will probably remain a par three through the closure and then until we open up White Wing. Uh, White Wing looking to open up uh, in a week from Monday. Um, so a lot of the efforts over here have been to clean up the debris and get that ready. Uh, we still got some of the Sandmaster left. We got about three holes left because of the weather that's kind of been slowed down. We'll complete that by probably Wednesday next week. We're happy to have that done. Uh, a lot of the holes got almost two passes, so we're very happy with that result. Uh, and just continuing that effort with that new machine, creating channels with the sand and getting that flushing. I think we can see a good result of all this rain. The fairways have been pretty dry on quail, and I think that's just a testament of our effort of top dressing and, and getting better uh, drainage in the soils on fairways. As far as the driving range goes, a lot of you know we're under construction up there with the range leveling. We did some springing at the top of the range T. Unfortunately, with all that weather, it washed out a lot of that T, so we're looking at sod in middle of next week. Uh, and then once that sod's established, hopefully we'll get some members out on the tee not much longer after that, but kind of had to switch gears. Didn't really expect 13 inches of rain. So uh, as much as we like it, it's for flushing the salts in the soils and, and the green grass and the growth um, it did create some damage. So we are gonna go clean that up. So just be looking for a turf next week up on the range tee. Uh, on a good note, uh, greens are really good. We lowered the heights earlier this week, uh, put out some growth regulator and uh, should have sped it up a little bit. Should see a good increase in speed. And then on white wing greens have been growing in really well. So have, looking forward to that transition over to this golf course. Got a ton of turf out here, great turf coverage. Uh, a lot of that's just trying to catch up on rough mowing and, and keeping that growth down. But very happy with how much coverage we have out here and, and what the overall appearance of the golf course looks like. We've got plenty of turf, probably one of the best transitions we've had over the last five years. So we're very happy with the quality of the turf and looking forward to overseed and the quail closure and getting all our agronomic practices done on that side. So I uh, hope everybody has a great week and I'll see you on the golf course.